morning, y'all, just leaving the toy box. The guys and I were there for, oh, well, almost three hours getting things organized and ready for uh, a few things, actually. Got a call. The 2003 Corvette might be delivered today. And I am taking delivery on that vehicle I told you about in the last video that I found locally. Pause trading in the SLS Vanquish and what else is there? Oh yeah, S65 in today as well, and that replacement vehicle is coming yet this afternoon. So busy day. It's gonna be possibly taking delivery of three vehicles. I'm gonna do some work here, and then I'll pick up the camera. I'm gonna grab, grab it over to Porsche Minneapolis, and uh, pick the camera up then. All right, got the Porsche. My Uber driver was badass too. I'm sitting right next to the car. Check this out. cars I'm in drive right now I don't have my foot on the brake or the gas these are the ones that they don't move until you give it some gas I love this transmission oh, I missed it I missed it this car sounds so good oh no there's gravel I've seen videos online people reviewing this I never really I guess I can't put it in words but like listen to this intake the intakes right here too it is loud like I, people said it was loud this thing is loud got the car at solar shield because the dealership put 50 percent tint on there should have been closer to 20. so it's pretty uh pretty see-through we're gonna get this fixed here real quick and then from here i'm gonna get some work done and then pa and i are gonna head to the toy box where he will be taking delivery uh, of another car yet today. My first drive in this thing was pretty badass. It sounds really loud. I had to turn around. Hopefully I didn't get any thing kicked up. I ran into a construction site and there was just loose gravel everywhere. But I turned around, went and did something I don't like to do, which is go on the highway. But I did it and it was awesome. Yeah, they'll we'll, we'll get this fixed up here pretty soon. And then pause right down the road to pick me up. Let's yeah, think of this so far. I'll give you a more detailed look later here. Probably at the toy box later today. This is such a badass build. White, black, carbon, yellow. Oof. I love this little part right here. Oh, it cuts in. Right there, so cool. Not very easy to get in and out of because my knees are going bad, I think. We got it into the toy box with the other ladies. Check this out. A little sneak preview. Sick. Check that car out in a little bit. Good looking car. Damn, it smells so good. By the way, Teddy's a huge fan. I heard. <laughs> He's like, we go to the toy box. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my God. <laughs> huge fan. I've been following Chris for like five years. That's awesome. <laughs> Check this out. See this little screen button right here? How cool is that? A rotating screen. Sweet. Just gonna move this over by the new lady. Damn, this thing steers really light. Back this up. Ooh, pausing it like this. Look at this key. Now that's a key. I love big, fat, heavy keys. That's a big, fat, heavy key. I like that. GT4S. Shout out Teddy. Smooth. Smooth, huh? It's so quiet and comfortable. And if you, know, you put it in sport mode, it really picks up some power. See how this clear that dead nice. Uh, they're, not, you know, they're not making them, so. Presumably like this little carbon fiber wing right here. Yeah, you know, she'll never see a proper <laughs> right. We'll just use these when going out on the town. Oh, yeah. This is... I love this line. Yeah, there's some 
the new one coming out, we'll have the new one, we'll let you know because if you guys that'll be the hybrid uh, 770 as well. Sweet. Look at these ladies. Yeah. I'll give you guys a quick walk around the two of you guys. I don't know a whole lot about these. I used to. I used to buy one of these as a daily driver back when I was young, obviously. Couldn't afford one, but I thought, oh shoot, a wall wheel drive coupe. Can do that in the wintertime, no problem. Obviously, I've never done that. I always wanted one back when I was younger again. So, from what I understand, this is the last year. W12 that Bentley's gonna have for the GT Speed. Look at that extension. I can't even see. That's smooth. This is like the S Class, but just on steroids. Just fancy. This looks clean. Got the wings on the floor. The stitching's incredible. For the Vanquish is in that trunk also. So yeah, everything. Same, same exact. Dang, this looks nice. It's kind of interesting how you open and close the vents. Just push that little nipple thing in. Oh, that's nice. So it's a little magnet. Yeah, it's a magnet. Just like a little suede on the outside, leather on the inside. That's clean. Good that they did the PPF on the top also. And this bad boy, this was a spur of the moment purchase. I'll get a more detailed video out here soon for you guys. We have a third vehicle coming today that I need to take delivery of as well. Another Corvette for Pa. One of two more that he found. What do you guys think of these? The build sheet on this one is pretty stout, pretty pretty big. It's like two pages. Even this thing, I think this is a new feature for 2024, the painted stripe down the middle. But this has a million options to it that I'm gonna have to look at the window sticker to really understand what is all there. I've, I've built it several times, but even like this little option here on the end, the stitching Alcantara or, or Porsche Race Tex, they call it, that's an option. And then like the leather on the steering column. Oh, it's yellow, that's sick. Got a lot of busy days, especially when they involve car deliveries. So Pa has one more coming in in about two to three hours, something like that. It's another Corvette, I'll show you guys that one as well. Let me know what you guys think of these. Again, I'll, I'll do another video of each of them, you know, clean them up and then give you guys a proper tour because this 4RS I mentioned before, this thing has a giant build sheet on it. I mean, look at this. I mean, look how small this font is. There's just a thousand options on this thing. It's crazy. We'll go through them one by one though, together in a video. Let me know what you guys think of this build. I think it's probably the best looking 4S I've ever seen. Compliments the Turbo S nicely because I like the yellow interior and the yellow accents on the outside. Look at this. I didn't even notice that this was yellow too until a little bit ago. It smells like a Porsche. I never put the contrast in stitching on the builds that I have with Porsche only because it's not worth the price to me. I didn't build this car, so it kind of is what it is. Just accept it or don't, and I did. I'm probably gonna bail. I know I talked about getting some paint repairs done in the Camaro. That Z06, this Z06, Prowler, that C5. Probably gonna bail on having the guys, you guys didn't even see this, probably gonna have them not have them do that because just how much time and how much cost there is to it. I'll just have my local dealership do it, and they'll do a fine job, and they'll get it done a lot quicker. But check this out, this finally came back. Yeah, the 78 Indy Pace car has finished its restoration. There's a few things that we need to have looked at still, but I'm gonna probably spend, I'll do a video on this one as well too, I'm gonna spend a good part of a day polishing this thing out because they got this paint, I'm not trying to bash it, but they got this paint so perfect, it makes it look perfect inside. When we picked this up yesterday, they had it outside, it was just, I hate black paint, I'll just say that. Let's see if I can highlight some of it. It's hard to see in these, in this light. Let me see if I can, let me see, look at this, see that? That's not compound. Those are like pigtails or holograms. Look at that. It's like in the, the nook of it. I mean, what did they do this for? They had this thing perfect. The entire car is like that too, by the way. Yeah, look at this. See that? Oh my God. My anxiety. I don't have anxiety, but my anxiety is going through the roof. Just thinking about how much effort it's going to be to hopefully correct this. Besides that, you know, new tires, new brakes, the whole undercarriage got recoded. I don't think they did anything on the inside. The inside was pretty cherry. That's why we picked this one, because it was the least miles, best condition one we could find. There's others that I found, you know, that had cracks all over, there's rips in the carpet, but they still had low miles. But, you know, people put these things in their barns or sheds or garages and they just sit there. Here, it looks at least climate controlled. It's not gonna be any mice or anything like that in there. So it'll just be good for the rest of its life, or as long as we own it, which is probably the rest of its life. The tachometer was not working. 
things like that that we hadn't fixed, but most of it was cosmetic because it was such a gently used car. We did obviously a full fluid flush, new battery, new belts, things like that. It's not a very fast car. I mean, hell, any one of these is faster than this because if you guys know or don't know, the 70s during the oil embargo was not a good time for cars. It's a very slow car, but look at that thing. It looks badass. Rest assured, I'll get it as perfect as I can. I hate polishing, but I'm pretty good at it. And I've, I've done a few videos where I polish black parts and it's just an entire black car that I'm not looking forward to doing. I'm going to do it because I want Pa to have a nice car. I'm really hoping that this part isn't burned through. See, they repainted this bumper too. So this, again, this is all perfect. See that edge right there? Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't get it out just, just by rubbing it. Hoping a little bit of polish will take that out, but I don't know. Nervous. Don't like it. Oh yeah. I got this in the other day too. This is for the Corvette coming in in about two to three hours. I'll do maybe, uh, I think I already, I already did a video on the C5, so I won't film that. But I will do separate videos on these two cars, the one coming in. The pace car here, I should have the 3100 back. They're thinking this week, but probably next week. And then there's a, another 95 Corvette coming here, maybe this week, probably next week. We'll see on that. So yeah, I'll pick this camera back up once I meet with the other driver. I'm gonna miss this car. I just got my youngest, he's over there right now. We got a meeting, I'm gonna just do it here real quick. We uh, turn on this main road and I gave her some beans and damn, she broke loose. It just sounds so good. Oh yeah, he's, he's seeing all the new cars. Do you remember this one? We just, we just got it back. Yeah. Oh, it looks so comfy. God, this is bugging me. It's terrible. What do you think of these ones? Bussin. Bussin. I saw that one. What's that white one? This that one? Yeah. A Porsche. Yeah, boy. A black and white. Black yeah. And white. Say GT4 RS. Look at them. I didn't even tell you about that. It's a sticker. It's a dickle? Yeah. What? 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 For weight savings. Weight savings? Weight savings. That's, that's, that's my boy. That's my boy. Look at this one. This one's not a sticker. I know. Let's see. And, and this one's not... This one's a... Blue. You haven't seen this one, have you? Okay, testing out the, the emblems. All right, I got a meeting here in like 10 minutes and hopefully the driver of the Corvette will be here momentarily because it's going to start storming here pretty soon. I want to get home before that happens. You want to drive that a little bit? Yeah. All right, let me help you. Okay, You're no disrespect fine, to, yeah, this, the day, to the meeting, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I just saw it pull up. Uh, a car? Yeah. I don't know what car called It's another Corvette. Nice. You want to check this thing out? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Yep. Good trip. Yeah. Nice. It's not hard. It's easy. Yeah. Good. Oh, Chris. Nice to meet you. Good meeting you. What was your name? Max. Max. Actually, Maxim, but short Maxim. name. Maxim. Yeah. Got it. It's a cool name. Ooh, check it out. There's another one. Kind of dark. Oh, look at those gold wheels. Look at the maroon. Why do I spot these things right away? So we can get that out. Yeah, it looks clean. I'll get a better eye on it once we get her out of the trailer. I think this one's an automatic also. I like when these trailers have the cutouts for the door to swing open so the drivers don't end up going through the window. This one's a little guy too, which is nice. I've had some pretty big drivers come through. Oh yeah, I need some Borla. What did you say? This car is packed up. <laughs> okay, go on the side please, on the curb. Why I need to? Because you're a little baby. We're gonna go this way a little bit. Got this from DNM Motorsports in Illinois. 
shout out to those boys. We had one of these, I'll explain in another video, but we had one of these picked out with even less miles. A little bit more money, but then it turned out that that car was not as described. It had, it had a new LS3 put in that wasn't original, so who knows what else kind of history it had. You got about three inches, it looks like. Yeah, it looks fine. Start coming this way though a little bit if you can. You're, you're kind of tracking like this a little bit. Yeah, keep coming like that, yeah. Mm. You might want to go forward and just straighten out a little bit because you're still more on the left side here. There you go. Good. You're good over here. Um, let me move this a little bit. All right. And other side. Other side's fine. I can move a little bit, I guess. All right, he's starting to track off here. You see this right here? It's starting to come off a little bit. What? You said you want to. You want probably want to go forward and move to the right about six inches. Yeah, keep on. I keep going right. Yeah, keep going right. There you go. Yep, yep, keep going. Like that? Uh, hang on, back up. Uh, you want to go forward like three feet, going to the right. Okay. Yeah, so go. There you go. Yep. No, keep going. Keep going. Now straighten out a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, now I'll come straight back. That's better, yeah, now I'll come straight back. Yep. Uh, kind of. He's, he's not grasping the, uh... This should be fine. All right. I'll turn the wheels the other way. There you go, yep. Good, now nice and straight. Turn the other way. There you go. Like yep. There you yeah. go. Thank you so much. It's you a, bet. It's, it's a tight fit. I have a six load today, you know, just a <laughs> short right? Yeah. And then watch the curve over here. All right, that's good right there. Okay. Looks pretty good. What do you guys think? So another Corvette. This is a 2003 50th anniversary, 675 miles. We're gonna convert it into a Indy pace car. So, you know, every once in a while they do these Indy pace car editions, and this was the same thing, the 50th year anniversary. You could get an Indy pace car. It was just a, just a decal kit. And so actually, Pa got one. It's around here somewhere. There's a box. It's over on this table, actually. Right there, inside that box is the Indy pace car decal kit for this generation and this year. It's a kind of a gold sticker that matches these, these wheels and these kind of tan interior but just stickers that cover up the body and it'll I'm gonna try to get uh, where did I see that I did a, just a quick walk around there's a few little you know hairline stuff I want to try to get out like that uh, obviously this is gonna be clear wrapped like everything else but I'm gonna try to get some of these things out as much as I can uh, where did I see that this thing was pulled in this way it was right here there I want to try to get stuff like this out I think I might be able to. I don't know. That looks pretty. I can feel that pretty well. I think he said there was one on like this back fender too. We did this deal pretty quick because we lost one because it wasn't as expected. It takes a pretty unique buyer to buy all these older, you know, low miles classic Corvettes. And this is right up our alley. Low miles, super unique. It's a, it's a anniversary and going to be a Indy pace car. Oh, it's been a long day. Three cars in one day is a lot. Got the 78 back yesterday, so kind of four cars in a week, and it's only, today's Wednesday, so it's not bad. Been a good week. 3100 pretty soon. Porsche and Bentley over here, just badass. So I, I know this video is kind of all over the place. I wanted to share with you some delivery of some new cars added to the stable. We're also saying goodbye to some other cars. SLS will be picked up probably later this week. That's about it for now. We're gonna, we're gonna, you get a voucher? You got a voucher for the slot machines. 
I'm in trouble. Okay, well, it's almost, uh, it's actually past eight o'clock. I'm gonna get going home. Let me know what you guys think of the new C5, as well as the Bentley and the 4RS. Make it pretty sweet and make it an addition to the stable. All right, pops. Say, see you later. Nice. All right, guys, I'll end this here. As always, I do appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.